Hello guys and welcome back to Colin McRae Rally, the next round of the championship, the Rally of Sweden. So spike tires are the order of the day when it comes to all the stages. Um, you will notice as well in the next couple of weeks there will be a lot of Colin McRae Rally videos going up because I'm going to be recording a lot in bulk because I want to schedule them to go up within the next three to four weeks at least. Uh, reason is, is that um, soon I won't actually be able to record anything because I'm getting my microphone sent off to be replaced and uh, I'm also getting my system upgraded. Um, as I'm not sure if I've mentioned before but last year uh, my friend Battery Man, uh, he sent me a brand new um, Aorus uh, RX 570 graphics card which is a 100% improvement on what I have at the moment, and a power unit. The thing is, I'm stupid when it comes to electronics, I don't know what I'm doing, so I daren't touch the power supply or the graphics card and try and fit them in myself because I'm likely to blow my fingers off. So, um, my friend Varak, uh, who lives relatively close, said that he'll pop over and help upgrade the system for me. Uh, with that, the new, um, hard drive as well that Rick sent me when this one started failing, and it has started failing massively recently, I can't access the C drive properly, and, um, yeah, a lot of things are just messing up with it, so, uh, yeah, a whole new system refresh, and I should be back a lot better than ever. Um, so yeah. All good. Let's have a look at the first two stages then of the Rally of Sweden. We have Philipstad, 5.2 kilometers, cloudy morning, ice and snow. And we have Lilligendal, 5.2 kilometers, light snow and deep snow. So, um, yeah, definitely going to be using spike tires for these ones. Uh, this one in particular, I hate this stage because it is very monotonous and boring and it is just basically on a giant lake. Anyway. Let's get down and start stage number one. Hooray! And here we go. Three, two, one, go! Go! Square left. Long five right tightens. The thing is, even with spike tires, a car just has no traction whatsoever. And the car just slides wide, goes into the snow banks, and you lose a ton of time. So I doubt I'm going to win this stage. If I do, it's going to be a, an absolute miracle. Oh, I'm leading by 0.8 of a second. Now, there is a little trick that I learned from Brad. Um, I don't think it actually saves you much time. But, of course, Brad does a lot of speed running or Viper racing. If you like speed running, if you like Colin McRae, Go to his channel because he does a lot of speedrunning of said games. Um, you can actually drive around the outside of this stage, but it does take a lot longer to complete than it is to drive normally. Um, only by about half a second, I think, or, or something like that anyway. But yeah, you cut out all of this stop-starty, sharp turns and sliding around. Oh, and there's a skidoo. Hello, Mr. Skidoo. We've lost a little bit of time, but we're still leading the pack by point four. And again, the car just sometimes doesn't want to respond and just goes straight into the snowbank and you lose an absolute crap ton of time. Lost a little bit more time, but we're still leading, which is the main thing. We're not going to win by a huge margin if we do. Hopefully, we won't mess up at the end. But anything can happen. 
Oh, like that. See, the corners just come straight up at you quickly. Yep, one second down. Second place, Colin McRae is currently leading. Still got two splits to go. I really dislike this stage, it's just so... Horrible. Can't really go flat out. Let's see, I'm losing. Once you lose time, that's it. You, you, it's a struggle to get it back. Flying finish, and no, by point two of a second, bah, with a time of three minutes forty six exactly. So all in all, that's not too bad. The stages will open up now anyway. So let's just get on with stage two. Five, four, three, two, one, go. go. Not the best start because of the ditch. But these stages are great for flinging a car around the corners. And we're leading by 6.6 .6 of a second. Ah, we should have gone for a uh, higher gearing. Again, because of the spikes, this is only light snow, so don't get that much traction than you would on a deep stuff. The car just sliding around quite nicely. Spot on. Five point one. Ah, no, just too much speed over the crest. And over finish. Uh, we get a time 7.02 seconds. Nice, and we won every single sector on that stage as well. Fantabulous. Right, we'll save the game. Yes, please. And service area number one. We don't have anything to fix. And yeah, we're going to have to have quite a lot of speed for this one. Nice long straight. Ugh. Don't like the look of that one. So we have Vansbro, 5.4 kilometers. And Borlange, Borlange, that thing. So we're going to have to have high speed, I think. 
Oh, and Clyde looking Five, rather ominous. Three, two, one, go. Off we go. Get off the bank. Why did that explode? The snow exploded on us. Holy crap. No, come on. As soon as we got on the straight, we'll be absolutely fine. Oh, the car doesn't like the deep snow with the spikes. Here we go. I think this is the start of the uh, long straight. fun. Oh, the bloody snow banks ruin everything. you touch a snowbank you lose all manner of control. Really annoying. Actually, that wasn't too bad. The size of snowbanks, 14 second advantage. That was good. I enjoyed that. And oh, we got the darkness back. Go. Trying not to say anything because I want to really concentrate on these night stages. They're bloody awful. Not like that. Come on.
Oh god, why did they sharpen like that? Bloody hell, come on. Put your back into it. Almost done. Almost done. Oh, thankfully, by 8.08 seconds. I don't like night stages on this game, or the second one, but anyway, we're still leading Colin McRae and Liati. And we'll save the game. Thank you very much. Awesome. Right, the final two stages, and I believe... We have uh, Ludwig, 6.1 kilometers, is the longest stage so far, and Rokstrom. I, I'm not Swedish, I can't pronounce these, so I apologize. Anyway, uh, we're going to have to go back to, um, I think balance speed would be ideal, just for these last two stages. Five, four, three, two, one. Go. That was going so well, and then a bloody... S I hate... I hate the snowbanks, how they just suck your car in, and you lose so much speed. And because of that, we're down by 0.2. Not really gonna dent our lead at the moment. Come on. Come off it. 
Yeah, the front end just caught the bank there and it just stops the car dead, spins you around, and it takes forever to get going again. Six point eight nine seconds. At least we still won the stage. Awesome. So overall, then sixteen thirty two to seventeen oh nine. Don't think we're going to be caught by this stage. As we go on to stage six. The graphics are going bloody haywire, especially right on the hairpin as well. Nothing I can do about that. It's just the game struggling to run on a newer system. Look at that, that was a perfect corner. God, I'm well happy with that. This one, not so much. going so well. Perfect! 15 seconds. I don't think that stage could have gone any better, apart from that little mishap going into the tree. Um, yeah, really chuffed with that. 1940 to 2032, so he almost had a minute advantage over Colin McRae. Liatti was third, and there we go. You've set a new record for Sweden, and that is five tens, 50 points to 30, 2015, 84300. So Didier Oriol and Steen have yet to score points. Fantastic. Do you want to save the game? Yes, please. And we'll go to the podium. So there we go. Liati in the Subaru. Followed by Colin McRae. And then your winner. 
the pleb called Dan. So there we go, that was a rally of Sweden. I will leave it here for now, so thank you very much for watching, as always, and I'll see you next time. Take very good care.